Uh, hey, this is uh, Ty the Dog Trainer with DogBehaviorOnline.com coming to you with a question from one of our uh, valued customers. Let me just read it here. It says, um, we just got our puppy yesterday, an eight and a half week old golden retriever. We watched your DVDs prior to the puppy's arrival. We are applying the method of keeping the dog on the leash with us in the house and having the dog on a feeding schedule. So far, a little over 36 hours, uh, she's had no accidents in the house and goes pee around 10 minutes after drinking and poops around 30 to 40 minutes after eating. Last night I had to take her outside at around 3 a.m. She went outside before at 10.30 and after she did her business she went back in the crate till 6 when I got up. She's a little mouthy and likes to jump on us at times but the method that you teach has helped a little bit in that regard so far. Also we've just started um, I'm thinking every week should get a little bit better if we're consistent. We're just using a regular leash and a uh, regular collar and a six foot leash. How old does the dog need to be before we can use a training collar? My wife is going to start on the place command tomorrow. Well, that's about it. The DVDs were very informative and a great purchase. Thank you from Brian. Uh, well, first of all, Brian, thank you. Uh, glad you're enjoying the DVDs um, and uh, hope they continue to help you. Um, let, me, let me talk about a few things here. Number one, as far as the training collar goes, you know, I really just use that depending on the dog. You know, some young puppies, I'll just use a simple little slip collar. You know, a collar that slips in itself, and it gives, you know, when you give a correction, it gives you just a little bit more, um, you know, meaningful correction than a collar. Um, some other dogs, you know, I'm going to wait until four months, five months, six months, even longer to where I use a training collar. Really what it gets to the point of is leverage. When I start to realize that the dog is just you know, going through this stage where they're pretty, you know, just wild and, you know, in order for me to actually correct the dog, I'd have to use too much strength. Well, I don't want to use too much strength. I don't want to hurt my puppy or anything like that. And so that's where a training collar just gives us a little bit of leverage and doesn't make it so that we have to use so much strength. But normally I would wait a little bit. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention here for you is uh, right now you're following the techniques that I've taught where you know you keep the dog on the leash with you that's great you're gonna want to keep doing that for a little while um, and as you'll continue in the DVDs what you'll see what you will want to do is slowly give a little bit more freedom and a little bit more freedom it's critical that you don't jump in with too much freedom too quickly and I always tell people uh, you know you're gonna have this dog for 12 years you know a little bit of time for the first few months on a leash is not that big of a deal it's a hassle right now I'm sure you're finding but it's not that big of a deal long term because it allows us to get to a point where uh, you know we've got a dog that um, is has complete freedom because the dog's earned that freedom and so your dog's not at the point yet where she's earned the freedom and so you're gonna have to slowly give increments what I'd recommend getting and you won't need it within the next you know probably in a month or so you'll want it but a little tab leash you know something that's 12 to 18 inches you know with just a little clip at the end uh, what a tab leash does is it kinda bridges the gap in between a regular six foot leash like you've got and the short tab leash and or, I'm sorry it bridges the gap between a leash and no leash and so the tab leash allows you to have a little bit of something there so that uh, uh, you know you're, you're not dragging around that whole leash all the time but right now you're doing the right thing to keep the leash on the dog and um, you know make sure that she's always under control as far as the mouthiness and the jumpiness that will probably actually get a little bit worse before it gets better. She's eight and a half weeks old. A lot of puppies are still just kind of coming into their own, and they really start with some of that bad behavior, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks. And so just be on top of it. Be aware that she might get a little bit more nutty before you can get her to be completely, uh, you know, uh, manners problem-free. But it sounds like you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work, and happy training.